Fox 6 News continues with Stephanie Grady and Ben Handelman. But what made you want to partner with the candy store? Just to eat more free candy. <laughs> I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to always be a kid. I love eating candy. Not only I love what you guys are doing here and being a part of this company, but just family-oriented people that work extremely hard to grow a company. Giannis Antetokounmpo might have a new nickname to go along with the Greek freak. How about Willy Wonka? Ooh. Or the Candy Man. Mm. He is now a stakeholder and owner in a candy company, Candy Funhouse Company. It's awesome. It is really <laughs> awesome, and it's very colorful. Joining us live to talk about how Giannis got involved in the Canny Funhouse is Chief Marketing Officer for the company, Dave Theodoropoulos. And this is a pretty sweet partnership, I have to say, first and foremost. You know, please tell us about how all of this came about. Did the Greek last name play any sort of role? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. Uh, no, you know, Candy Funhouse is a Canadian company, and we kicked off back in 2018 as a brick-and-mortar store. And much like a lot of other brands, during the pandemic, we started to focus uh, exclusively online. And with that, we, we started to create a lot of great content and uh, threw out a package to uh, Giannis, one of our fun boxes. And uh, he remarked about how, how much he enjoyed that experience and started following us and starting to see some of the content that we were producing. And fast forward about uh, eight to 10 months ago, I uh, started to connect with him and his team, now known as Ante Inc., and talked about a potential partnership. And we talked about our vision, about creating meaningful experiences. And anyone that knows Giannis knows that, you know, he's the most wholesome guy, uh, very family oriented and his vision very much aligned with ours and and you know here we are wait Great let me get this straight you sent him a free box of candy and he's like yeah i want to buy the whole thing <laughs> that's that's virtually what happened yes absolutely if you want to give the readers digest yeah, version. what kind of box of candy yeah. was this some of his favorites, you know, he's a, he's a big fan of Skittles. Uh, we also threw in there, it's called uh, Mentos Fanta, which he's a big fan of. And, uh, you know, he has a bit of a sweet tooth. And even though he works extremely hard and works out and trains towards, you know, all of the work he does in the NBA, he also likes to indulge every once in a while with candy. And uh, we're happy to provide that to him. Have you been on as the chief marketing officer since the inception in 2018? No, I have not, actually. I've known the company for a couple of years. Uh, several months back, I've joined on and have been working to kind of transform the brand. We really like to focus ourselves on the intersection of pop culture and candy and create these experiences through creating uh, exciting contents. And, uh, you know, with Giannis and uh, his brothers joining, uh, we know there's going to be a lot of great content to come. And we're breaking out into the U.S. Uh, you can check us out at CandyFunhouse.com and uh, see what we're all about. What does that mean? The intersection of pop culture and candy. You've got me hooked, and I have no idea what that means. So candy, we find, is universal. Everyone has a love for it, right? So it's this whole idea of anything tied to pop culture. So if you think about your favorite candy when you go to the movies or when you're watching music or anything tied to celebrities, it's this whole kind of experience you get uh, tied to the confectionery world. So the content we create celebrates that, and uh, Giannis is going to play a big part in helping push that forward. And your bread and butter is these boxes, right? So, so I mean, this has been kind of a thing for the last, I don't know, five, six years of people getting wellness boxes and health boxes and kid toy boxes and outfit boxes. So this is kind of just a spin on that, right? Yeah, so I mean, that's certainly one aspect of the brand is we create these fun boxes. So if you have a sweet tooth, if you like sour, or right now we have the Giannis box. So if you go to candyfunhouse.com, you can have a box full of his favorite uh, candies that he enjoys. Uh, but we also offer a wide range of products. Um, we've, with the launch of our .com, we've got about 500 products available in the U.S. We're up to about 3,500 in Canada. So we're hoping to scale that uh, within the U.S. very quickly. So not only can you can enjoy the fun boxes, but there's probably a ton of great products you you had when you were a kid that uh, you probably don't think exists anymore, but you can find them at Candy Funhouse. Giannis is like the biggest kid. What's it like when he gets into a room and you've just put candy all around him? Because the video <laughs> oh, we're watching is hysterical. <laughs> he gets super excited. You know, he's a great, uh, he's a great mind, a great storyteller, and he's always has a story to tell. So uh, <laughs> it's always great getting these unique products in front of him, getting to try something new. And the, the one thing that was his favorite last week might be something different the next week. So, yeah, it's quite the experience. He's good at those knock-knock jokes, too. And I can't even mm. imagine once he's got the sugar high going, just, yeah, you know, how I that agree. steamrolls. I like he's like, I, I like it because of the free candy. Uh, you're the owner now, Giannis, so every piece of candy you eat, you're actually just taking out of your profits. So I don't know if that will affect how much. <laughs> 
candy he's going to eat it just now. it all it all ends up working out you know it all absolutely, comes back absolutely uh well dave theodoropoulos who has one more letter than antetokounmpo in his last name and he's very proud to say that we appreciate you being on with us here my pleasure thank you for your time live from toronto canada where it is raining currently in toronto i'm wondering if that is the same low tom walks that could good be good question